Hey guys, Ronan here from Idiots Doing Airsoft, and today we're doing a two reviews of a package I just got today from Midwest Airsoft, and I bought a M4 rubber bayonet and a mesh mask, which we are going to be testing. Uh, we're going to bring it outside a little bit later and shoot it, see how it fares. So, yeah, let's get started. First, we have the rubber bayonet, which comes with a very nice plastic sheath. So, you would, to put this on, you just undo this velcro here. There we go. And then you just put it around your belt. So, yeah. And then it's hooked onto you, so. Uh, then, let's kind of fix it here, it also has a quick detach little buckle, so yeah, that's useful, um, yeah, so, you, to get it out, you'd undo this piece, and here is your bayonet, we'll get into this a little bit later, first though, the sheath is a uh, you know a pretty sturdy plastic so yeah uh, it will do i mean this cost me about 15 euro for midwest airsoft it's not too bad the build quality is decent i suppose so yeah if you wanted to have extra straps i guess you could just put it through here but whatever so yeah it's just basically a plain sheath so yeah I'll show you what this piece is in a second. And then we have the underside. A few, just a few screws showing. And yeah. Okay. Let's look at the actual bayonet. Right now I don't have an M4 so I cannot put it on. But after, after the review of the M4 uh, which I'll eventually get I'll have a picture of this on it so stay tuned for that uh, I hope to begin it sometime soon so yeah um, so one quick shout out I'd like this if I'll have the both links in the description first link is for Midwest Airsoft uh, I buy a bit there you know I've that's actually, I got the AK off the owner, called, it's called Tony, he's, you know, really, really nice, he's so helpful. So, if, you know, he has really good products and everything, and really good prices, so, go by there. And next, we have seairsoft.net, they've helped me tremendously over the past, helping with my reviews and everything, so yeah. Anyways. The handle is a sturdy plastic, I think it's the same as the sheath, and so is the barrel mount, that is sturdy plastic. To connect it to your gun, you'd push these two tabs in, and you can... Anyways guys, as I was saying, sorry about that, my granny came in, you push these two tabs in, slide it into the little thing uh, below the front sight, and then you'd have this over the barrel, and then you have your attached bayonet. The blade is made out of a rubber, so it is actually quite bendable, so yeah. Um, you know, I, was, I still wouldn't like to be stabbed with this thing, but still. It wouldn't hurt too much. It is very good detail, so yeah, I'll just let you look at it a bit. Anyways, um, as you can see, the handle is knurled to get a better grip on the blade, on the handle, so, yeah. Um, uh, now, the piece on the sheath. 
I don't know what it does, but you know, it does it on the real version. So you get the blade, and as you can see, there's a slot here, and it attaches. I don't know what it's for. I think it's for like cutting, hacking, or something. Or uh, I know in the AK one, it's a wire cutter, but it doesn't seem to be the case because, as you can see, the blade actually covers that so if anybody knows what it is in the real seal uh please tell me in the uh, description so yeah now we're gonna take a look at the mask okay so this is the mask and just take it off it does actually come flat when you get it so you can bend it to your face so yeah uh at the end of this review uh i should if i'm don't forget to add it in i should have a video of me shooting this with the echo one as or 25 rounds i think uh, i think i'll do just do five then i'll do another 20 out off camera and i'll show you what happens so yeah um yeah it's me obviously a mesh mask I find that when I put it on, the mesh was rubbing against my nose. I don't know if I'm wearing it wrong or whatever. But I'll, if I am wearing it wrong, I'll fix it. But if not, I'll just put a piece of padding on the nose. So please tell me in the comments. Thanks. It has rubber here. Or uh, elastic. Uh, it is also OD green. And then it has a piece of Velcro here just for extra adjustment. So yeah, there's not much you can say. The stitching and everything is pretty good. I like the mask. Of course, you know, it's only a 15 euro mask, so. Yeah, not much to say about it. Let's do the fun part and go out and shoot it. Hey guys, Ronan here from Idiots Doing Airsoft. And we're going to take five shots at the mask right now, so. And I do have safety goggles on, so... I'm using ICS... Shit. Point two threes. Okay, let's see the destruction. Okay, let's see how the mask fared uh, against the sniper. Okay, yeah. You can just bring it over to the light. You can uh, just move this. Definitely see I did hit it and it did cause a few marks. Uh, there's actually a dent few dents there but uh none penetrated so now we're going to do uh two or three extremely close shots so put it back on get the sniper and the goggles Now line it up. Sorry if you couldn't really see anything there. Here we are. Ah, uh, focus. Ugh. Um. Here we are. So, it's gonna go shoot it. And we're out, so we got two shots. Oh yeah, definitely. I can definitely see a dent in there. Yeah, there is a few dents, but you know, it fared well. Let's see. Let's unzoom here. So, yeah, let's look under the light again. Uh, 
There is a few dents and wallops. But you know, I'd feel safe in getting shot with this on, so yeah. This is me shooting this mask. Peace guys.